welcome back to this channel. Uh, we showed you a short video on the GMP Aval, the, the bucket itself. We did a, a nice review on it. We showed you the video on our Echo Trophy Legend, the 4x4 caravan. We've now come on a short trip on the West Coast uh, 4x4 route. We're on the farm, waterfall, and uh, we're traveling along the coast. And we've stopped at this beautiful spot on the coast just to show you quickly what we've done to the Aval PCAs to make this an overlanding vehicle for us on a budget. So as you would remember from, uh, from the review on the vehicle, the vehicle is fitted with the RHC rims. That's not the standard rims. Um, it wasn't fitted by ours ourselves. The dealership actually fitted it before, they, before we purchased it. Um, and uh, so it's fitted with these rims. It has got all the tires on it, 265, 60, 18 inch tires. And so far we've tested it quite a bit on sandy roads. And I must tell you the vehicle has performed very, very well with these tires. We've, we've uh, deflated it a bit. One bar, one point two bar. We haven't had any trouble so far. So that's for the, for the tires. Other than that, on the suspension we've done absolutely nothing. We wanted to keep it as close as possible as we could to an original vehicle. At the top, this one is from Echo 4x4 Center, uh, 270 degree awning, nice and easy to fit it. And at the top from Tenko, we've, uh, we've gone for the family tent at the top. And the reason why we have a family tent is sometimes we travel two or three or four persons and uh, the tent is just much bigger. It's a 2 meter by 2.5 meter tent. It pitches super easy and uh, it's got a lot of space in it. So that's what, why we've chosen that tent. So the canopy is fitted by Ram Kapi. Um, we didn't fit the, uh, the canopy. It was fitted by the dealership. It's a stainless steel canopy. Opens up on both sides, um, which is nice. And we've gone and done a couple of modifications. We'll show you on the inside um, how we've gotten this section in here. Uh, this was also something we did ourselves, which is easy, super easy for, uh, for you guys to do. But inside, I fitted a 3000 watt inverter only for when we really, really need to charge a laptop or whatever we want to do. Then we fitted uh, a solar charge controller because we will take the, the, the uh, solar panels from the caravan which is an easy on-off uh, connection and we will we will use it from time to time when we travel only with the vehicle so we've made it that we can use it on the caravan or we can use it on the vehicle so the installation is done there's a Anderson plug at the bottom and we can use that then I've connected two yellow plugs two cigarette lighters, uh, a volt and an amp meter, and I've co connected a fast charge, uh, two fast charge USB points for, uh, for cell phones. This is all being connected through to, uh, to a fuse box and a uh, main supply, a main circuit breaker. That goes through to the bottom where the batteries are stored. We'll show you on the inside just now where we've stored the battery. Then I fitted the light and I've also made another light with an extension. So when we buy or we're outside, then we can use the light on the outside. And we've made a nice table. I didn't put the table out, but we've made a nice table that we can use with this whole setup. Now for my kitchen section for my wife, uh, what I I could have gone for uh, a laser cut, cut out of what I wanted here, but initially I first want to test the dial a little bit and see where I want everything um, positioned in, in this. So all I did is I bought a 75 millimeter foam and I've used a nice sharp Victorinox knife and I've made all the cutouts for myself so that I can everything in. I know exactly where I want to fit it. 
And once I'm confident that that's the final place where I want everything, then I'll have uh, a proper setup, uh, a foam laser cut se section made for this um, and, and, and use that. A uh, can of gas and this is actually a nice thing. It's a nice fold up gas burner which works with small gas cans the same as what we use um, on our jet oil. And this is brilliant with the self starter so everything connected to it and it's about 400 N and it folds up nice and tidy and, uh, and very easy to use. So nice addition to, to the, the vehicle. At the back of the vehicle we had the dealership install a tow bar for us which we can remove and uh, we also installed uh, a nice Anderson plug and that Anderson plug connects to the caravan so that the caravan can be charged by the alternator of the vehicle when we travel. Canopy installed by Amkapi like we said. And this is something that you guys can do for yourself. These boxes we made ourselves. What we did, we, we planned everything, we drew it out and we went to a normal steel factory that sells steel and they also uh, did all the bins for us. And they bent everything and we just bolted it in and we riveted the connections, uh, the, the, uh, the end walls to it. So cost us about a thousand, thousand five hundred bucks to, to fit it uh, to the vehicle and, uh, and that gave us the nice two compartments on either side where we can have our kitchen and the storage space for other stuff that we want. Then we went to a lady, I'll leave her contact details below, Eloise. Eloise makes, she's in Langerbahn, she makes these nice cushions, a whole bit, it folds up and then it becomes a place where you can sit for the kids at the back or you can fold it down and it becomes a bit nice, durable, you can take it out to wash it. Um, once when the foam and everything is, is broken over a couple of years, you can take it out, it zips open and you can replace it. So, very good addition to the vehicle. On the driver's side of the vehicle, we installed our recovery tax so that they don't become brittle, they're out of the sun, they're nice and protected, they sit out of the way inside the canopy. So in the back of the vehicle, we've installed uh, a box where we can store our battery and then we've got a small case. We've installed this extra shelf here for a small case for our pots, our pans, the, any other small stuff that we want to store and always have a headly available for the vehicle. And I've also installed the pump. The pump can stay in position. It is, con it is connected to the power always. And this will reach all the caravan tires and it will also reach reach all the vehicle tires from this position so I never have to move it nice and comfortable behind the seat we've, we've got the fire extinguisher below the seat we've got the original jack the wheel spanners the extra spanners everything below the, uh, the the rear seats we've got the high lift jack that we that we bought and a nice nylon foot piece for it so it doesn't get dig into the sand jumpers when we need help for ourselves or need to help somebody else a nice pipe to refuel if we need to a repair kit for your tires that's needed a couple of hopes a couple of steps and a nice heavy duty recovery step here's a nice touch on the GVM of all PCA's buckies, which it comes out standard with that will save you a couple of thousand and the digital display shows you the tire pressures so that comes out standard with the Aval buckies and like now we've deflated the tires because we're diving on sandy oats and I can keep an eye on my tire pressures and on my tire temperatures at all times if you would have bought that separately that would have been a couple of grand for you to, to, to purchase it and that comes standard with this vehicle.
this is the second feature on this vehicle where you can save some money so let's go to my cell phone and what I'll do you'll see my Wi-Fi is off and I will switch my data completely off and then I'll connect it with a wire to my cell phone and I'll put my cell phone away and what you'll see on the dashboard is the scheme coming up for the navigation system and with absolutely no data no Wi-Fi connected because you don't need Wi-Fi or data to have a GPS signal your cell phone actually comes installed with a GPS signal that doesn't require any Wi-Fi or data and now we can dive and we don't need a Garmin and I won't say this is the best thing to do but I've been navigating for two days just like this without any cell phone reception at all if you keep eye on your skin you'll see it works On my steering, I've got a uh, SVC button. When I press it, I can see my front tire on the left-hand side. And when I'm off-roading and I have to navigate past rocks, I can see exactly where I'm going. And I'm not going to damage my tires. And I can pick the perfect line to maneuver the vehicle exactly where I want it. And that will save us some tire damage so with the dogs coming up that's exactly what you can see and just like that a beautiful tip comes to an end join us on the next episode we take you on the overlanding expedition again. Bye-bye.